Okay, so in this problem, we have this wedge and a spring system. A mass of 40 gram is kept at the highest peak and it is allowed to come down. The height is 4.9 meter. This is frictionless surface, mu is zero. You have been asked when the, obviously when it comes down, it will hit the spring and it will not simply stop there. It will go on to compress the spring by a certain amount. So you have been asked what is will be the maximum compression in the spring. This is pretty simple of basic level of question. Now, you can use work energy theorem, you can use energy conservation. Using both the concept, the equation that you will form will be the same. We'll check it once, once again. Using work energy theorem, it says work done, net work done is change in kinetic energy. Net work done, work done by all the forces. The forces here again would be gravity and the spring force. The work done by gravity depends simply on the vertical shift which would be of 4.9 meter so the, not just using the symbol work done by gravity is mgh doesn't depend upon the horizontal drift or the shift of the body as I, as we have discussed before now work done by the spring spring will be applying the force outward resisting the compression and the movement of the block would be inward causing the compression so the force would be towards left left and displacement would be towards right they are in opposite direction the angle is 180 degree so the work would be negative and the negative spring work by the spring is half k x squared as we know with a negative sign change in kinetic energy at the point of compression everything will come to momentarily rest and there will be no change in kinetic energy from initial to final point so that is zero that comes at mgh is equal to half k x squared okay now if you would have used energy conservation the drop in put gravitational potential energy would be equal to the net increase in the spring potential energy the drop in gravitational potential energy will be equal to mgh the increment in spring potential energy will be half k x squared so the same equation you are getting from energy conservation as well now, all you have to do is find x x will be equal to root over 2 mgh by k right and you just put the values you'll get x as 9.8 centimeter aha you should have done it and then i should have told you anyway you do it and check but look don't don't you know even if when when the calculation is bit simple that is a chance for you to increase your speed because you know how to do it all you have to do it all you have to do is do it fast doing i have told you before solving a question is one thing and solving it fast is altogether a different thing and you may not be able to do both so you should prepare yourself to do both because there would be a lot of people your peers who will know the question but not all of you would be able to solve maximum questions in the question paper and that will create the entire difference okay moving on to question number six uh, which would be something similar we have the same kind of system difference this time would be friction this region has friction the part of the wedge is doesn't have friction and we again have a block the mass the weight of the block is given as 10 newton the height is 1 meter here there is no friction the friction value is 0.3 Or, or let's consider it as 0.2 now the question is to find uh, when the block would come down it will come here without loss of any energy when it will start to move into the region of friction then there would be some energy loss due to friction so what will be the maximum distance that the block will travel in the region of friction and stop so that maximum distance you have to calculate again this is a simple very simple trivial kind of question but do it fast 
use work energy theorem if you use work energy theorem work done net work done is change in kinetic energy net work done is change in kinetic energy net work done would be work done by gravity and work done by friction because there is no other force hey we are not talking about normal there will be some normal reaction acting on this block as well because if you draw the fbd you will have mg and you will have normal reaction both but we never consider normal reaction for calculating work do you know why if you know very well if you don't know then think about it because uh, normal reaction is always normal meaning it is always perpendicular to the plane uh, in which the block is moving so it is perpendicular to displacement so when a force is perpendicular to displacement it doesn't do any work that's why we don't take it take normal reaction into account so here we'll have gravity and we'll have friction force the work done by gravity is mgh and work done by friction it, the friction in this case is opposing so that will be negative of uh, frictional force into displacement in this region frictional force is mu times normal reaction which is mg this is frictional force into displacement this should be equal to zero because when it is stopped it started at rest stops at rest so net change there's no change in kinetic energy so s would be simply h by mu that comes out to be to be 5 meter simple Okay. One last question before I let you go to solve the exercise.